What is up everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video, we are upgrading my trusty 4G router that you can see behind me to a brand new 5G home router. I've consistently chosen to use 4G home internet over the MBN for the past couple of years and I've eagerly anticipated 5G to make it to my area and it finally has. So today's we'll be upgrading my home internet to 5G. Let's start by unboxing the router. It is a Nokia 5G router that is powered by the Optus network. And as we do that, we'll go through the setup. And of course, I'll tell you why I consistently choose to use 4G and 5G internet over the MBN. So let's actually unbox this next to our old router. Sorry for the awkward angle, but I sort of figure it's uh, more about the product than it is about myself. The packaging is quite nice on it. First thing we get is, I'm guessing this is a little information booklet, it is basically just a quick start guide. And of course, all the helpful information, but we don't need that right now. Let's start pulling out. It's a very nice looking router. At the top here you've got a LCD panel, some plastic over it so that will give us indications as to what the router is, um, you know, information about the health of the router. It's a very minimal looking design, just basically plain white with the Noki symbol on the front of it. At the back we have a few connection ports. We've uh, got of course the power port, we've got a WAN port, um, two LAN ports and a USB-C port and it's got a Obviously it's plastic, but it's got a little stand here to help with ventilation and down the bottom I'm not sure if you can see this the Camera, but you can um, that is actually where the sim is going to go There's a little sim and a reset option there. So the sim tray just pops out pulls straight out And the last thing we need to do is just plug in the power adapter one of the best things about 4G, 5G home routers is the fact that it is, here's the old one, it is literally just one cable, two if you want to plug in an ethernet, but all you need is a power cable and a SIM card and you're connected to the internet and you can move it around wherever you want to go. Um, so I'm just going to get this plugged in now. And then basically we're connected to the internet. It is so easy to set up a 4G, 5G router um, and that is one of the best things about it. It's just simple. You can see at the top here it is now booting up. This will take a couple of minutes for it to boot. And again, there's more ventilation at the top here. The old 4G router never really got too hot at all. I'm guessing with all the ventilation, unless it's just for aesthetics, uh, this might draw a bit more heat and a bit more power than a 4G router. So the router's just finished doing its updates. You can see here that it's on a 5G signal. This screen at the top is actually a touch screen where you can swipe through, you can see all the devices that are connected to your router. Swipe through again, you can actually get the settings um, of your device. I'm not sure what heartbeat is, but let's actually open that up now. Let's go, okay. Heartbeat on. I forgot what that is, but give it a tick. And uh, you've also got the call center and the mobile apps here. But you can see here that we turned it on, we let it run for a couple of minutes. It does an update and now it's found its signal. It's actually jumped out of, over to 4G. One thing it does recommend you to do is actually find the best 5G router signal in your house. And that's what the app is designed to do. It helps you find the best 5G signal. Once it's found the 5G signal, it's actually been really consistent. To pair a device to the router, you can of course put the password into that device, or you can simply go on the touch screen, swipe to the right like I've just done, and hit on the option of pair device. And then on your computer or your phone, just simply select the Wi-Fi, which is called Nokia and then the name after it and then it just connects straight up. So you saw how easy and quick it is to set up a 5G or a 4G home network. It is basically, you get it, you plug it into power, and of course you put the SIM card in. You give it a couple of minutes to connect to the network, and then you're good to go. Then you start pairing your devices. With this one here, I've actually installed the Nokia app on my iPhone as well. And the app's actually really quite cool. It's very intuitive and it's got a very nice layout to it. And I'll walk you through it so you can understand what the app looks like. Um, you can see here on the home page that we have, of course, our 5G home router. If I open up the blue bar here, there's actually where you can share your router with other people where they can scan that QR code. Or if you tap on the seeing eye, you can actually read the password as well. And of course, if I wanted to change the password, I just hit the edit option here. Um, it shows you how many devices are connected to your router at the current moment. And of course, you can see the Wi-Fi points and the connection of your router. Right now, it's a strong signal because it's right next to the window. So it's getting a really good 5G network signal. 
Um, you can actually have different profiles here. So we don't need many profiles in this house, but if you wanted to, you could actually go on the block list and you could set things like assigned devices. So it could be a kid's device that you assign to here. You can add a schedule, so you can only say it's gonna work during specific hours um, or specific days. And of course, you've got things like the bedtime. So if you wanted to cut the internet at nine o'clock or eight o'clock um, when it's time for the kids to go to bed, you can actually set a bedtime from, throughout, from this router as well, which I think is really quite handy. And of course, the last option here for your different profiles is your website filtering. So if there are any websites you don't want people in your house going on, you can actually go on the website filtering option here and you can pop in different websites and you can turn on the website filtering and add some block sites here as well. Um, so it's not just a simple 5G router, it actually gives you a lot of family controls as well. Under the network option, it does show us the map of our house. Right now it's just, it is connected to the internet and the router's got a strong signal. But of course you can add different Wi-Fi points if you're gonna have a mesh network that this is gonna be connected to, of course, for bigger houses, bigger networks. This is a really nice way of actually just seeing what the whole network is doing. Under the profiles, that's where we can actually add different family profiles to here. And of course, in the settings, we can go into learn a bit more about the router and the general information, or we can go into the Wi-Fi networks. And this again is where I'm gonna get out of that. It's where you can get your password. So as a router, it's really easy to set up. It's really easy to manage through the app. Um, but of course, what we're all interested in seeing is speed tests. So let's jump on the computer and do a couple of speed tests to see how it compares. We're now connected to the 5G network on the Nokia router, and we're just gonna hit go. So one thing I want you to notice here is that it actually spiked close to 300 megs and then it throttled down. And that's because I'm actually on the 100 megabit a second capped plan. If we were on the unlimited plan, that 300 plus megs would actually be the speed we'd be seeing right now. We'll go through plans in a second later in this video, but notice that even on the capped plan, I'm getting over 100 megabits a second consistently. Let's go over to the results tab of speed test and I'll walk you through a few of the tests that we've already run. Anything under this one here where it's 67 megabits a second, that was the 4G network. And we're gonna look at some of these speeds. So if I just look at a random day we've picked here, you can see we have upload and we have download speeds and they're good. You've got 65, 75, 84, but then sometimes it'll drop down to 25. If I go down further, you see it'll drop down to 30. Um, but the, the 4G speeds have been pretty good, although not super consistent. And the upload speeds here are somewhere between three and about 10, aside from a few outliers of the 30 here and the 30 up here. Um, but the 4G speeds have been okay. If I scroll up, and if we look at all the speeds we're getting though with the 5G router, and I've tested this on a few different devices, we are consistently pulling over 100 megabits a second in the download, so you can see here, we got 124, and I tested again on the 4G, then we got 124, 124, 123, 124. So it's consistently getting about 124 megabits a second download, and the upload is staying consistently above 40 for the majority of the speeds that we're doing. So we've got 42, 44, 44. I love the consistency of it. Um, no matter what time of day I've been testing these things, it's actually been a very consistent 100 plus megabit down and 40 plus megabit up. Um, so it's a lot more consistent than either the 4G or the NBA networks that I have tested. Um, and that's what I wanna walk you through now. I wanna walk you through a comparison of 5G home internet versus an NBN plan. So you can see here, we are on the Optus website, we're on the 5G internet. And if we scroll down, the first thing you need to do is actually enter your address into the checker here. And this will tell you if you're eligible for 5G home internet or not. This is really important because what Optus now have is a guaranteed uh, minimum download speed. So if you look at the two plans here that both offer you unlimited data, they both have a minimum satisfaction guarantee of 15 megabits a second. So that means that even at the worst time, you're gonna get a guaranteed 50 megabits a second with your 5G internet. Now this is really quite cool because one of the biggest things with the NBN when it first came out especially is the fact that the speeds were completely inconsistent and that's one of the things I've noticed with 4G as well. Sometimes it can be 100, 150 megabits a second download, other times it could be 
12 to 15. So there is a lot of inconsistency with the 4G network as well as the MBN. Whereas if you look at the 5G network, they give you this satisfaction guarantee. What we have is two simple plans. They both include that Nokia router that we received. Um, they both have unlimited data and one is $79 for, uh, per month and one is 89 and after six months it goes up to 99. The plan that I've actually jumped on is the $79 per month. So the big difference here is that it has a cap of about 100 megabits a second and a typical download speed in the busy period of 83 megabits, which is still really quite fast, especially for Australian internet. The more expensive plan, the 5G Internet Entertainer, does cost $20 more on the regular plan, but it has an uncapped download speed, as you can see here, and its typical download speeds are 210 megabits a second with peak periods, and that is phenomenal. So you're gonna get on either of these plans a minimum of 50 megs, on my plan, it's going to cap out at around 100, which for my home usage is more than enough. But if you really wanted to get the best, you'd go on the top plan here, which gives you uncapped speeds and an average of 210 megs a second in the peak period. I want to quickly just compare this with the NBN version that Optus and other carriers are offering. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to see these plans. So you can see that they're both very comparable in the price. They both have unlimited data. They both start at $79 per month. The more expensive plan gives you six months for 89 and goes up to 99. So this is the exact same as what you're getting with the 5G NBN. And they both now have the 50 megabit a second typical download speed. But what I wanna call out here, the really important bit, is that where the 5G NBN gives you a guaranteed satisfaction of 50 megabits a second, and a higher typical download speed, the NBN offers you typical download speeds of 50 megabits a second. So they're not saying you're gonna get this, they're not saying it's gonna be better, it has the possibility of being worse because that is the typical download speed, there is no satisfaction guarantee there. So for the same price for the NBN, you can actually get a guaranteed 50 megabits a second down and an even higher typical download speed on the cheapest 5G plan offers you the unlimited data as what the NBN plan does. It's the same price, but you're actually getting, in my opinion, a better value for money. The only thing you need to make sure is that, of course, 5G home internet is available in your area. And this is one of the big reasons I'd choose 5G over NBN, is that you're getting, for the same price, you're getting the same unlimited data, but you're getting a more consistent download speed, you're getting a satisfaction guarantee, and you're also getting higher typical download speeds than a comparable NBN plan. So there you guys have it. That is the unboxing and upgrading to the 5G home internet. What I love about the 4G and 5G home internet is that it is so easy and simple to set up. It is literally unboxing it, putting it in your SIM card, and then plugging and playing. Of course, you can move that around the house, and if you move places, you can actually just take it with you, and there's no need to get an MBN technician to set you up. You just grab your router, plug it into a PowerPoint somewhere else, and it's connected again. What we did see is, of course, the fact that the 5G gives you a lot more consistent internet speeds. I'm with the cheapest Optus 5G plan, and I'm getting over 100 megabits a second download consistently, and 40 megabits a second consistent upload. So it's a really consistent experience, and of course, if you want even more speeds, you can go to a higher tier. But one of the biggest reasons of going to 5G over the NBN is the fact that they have that satisfaction guarantee where I have a minimum baseline where it's not gonna go under 50 megabits a second download, whereas the NBN cannot guarantee that. But along with having that satisfaction guarantee, I also get faster typical download speeds on the 5G home internet compared to the NBN. And they're both comparable pricing, both starting at $79 and both offering unlimited data. So in my opinion, if you do have a 5G home network that is eligible in your area, I'll choose to go with 5G over the NBN. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, of course, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.